I'm not a host, so. <laughs> um, all right, welcome. Please meet me standing at the top of the mat. <clears throat> the toes can be together and the heels are apart. Press down through the feet as we exhale. Invite yourself to stand tall. If having a little bit of space between the feet is more useful for you, that's fine. Bring the palms to touch. Notice where baseline is today. See if you can bring a little bit more weight to the toes, a little bit more weight to the heels, and gradually distribute your weight in such a way that stillness occurs. Your calves and thighs, bring the tail under, lift the heart up, widen the shoulders, lift the chin. Stay as we exhale. <clears throat> Inhale, breathe into the front of the heart. Keep the front of the heart open as we exhale. Inhale into the front and the sides of the lungs. Exhale. Front sides, back of lungs, inhale. Exhale. Maintain a circumferential breath throughout practice. Let's begin with one ohm. Inhale. Ooh. Rest the hands by your side. Sun salutation A. Inhale, stretch the hands up, look up. Exhale, fold, touch the earth, look at your legs. Inhale, prepare, eyes forward. Exhale, walk the feet back, bend your elbows, lower it down. Inhale, widen the chest, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, downward facing, look towards your belly. First down dog together. See how it feels. Do you have 10 finger pads, use them. You have knuckles in the base of the wrist, press them down, get really long in your arms and stretch. Exhale, tuck the tail slightly and widen the back plane of the body. You have three more breaths. If you choose, you can move around a little bit. Some people like bending the knees. It's whatever works for you. I'm about to push play on the playlist if any of you are listening to it. Um, it's called All the Feels. <laughs> I'll send it on the chat again, but it doesn't need to be distracting. All right, last full breath. Bend the knees, eyes are forward. Inhale, walk or step. We're at the top of the mat. Exhale, fold the body down, look at your legs. Stand up, inhale, reach the arms overhead, look at your thumbs. Exhale, rest it. Two more just like that. Inhale, reach the hands up, eyes up. Exhale, fold it down, look at your legs. Inhale, prepare, eyes are forward. Exhale, bring the body back, bend the elbows, lower it down. Inhale, open, eyes are up. Exhale, close it, downward facing. Please stay in down dog. Option one, this is it, stay in down dog. Option two, shorten your down dog a little bit. Bring the right leg up, three-legged dog. All right, inhale, right leg is high. Stay or stack the hips, bend the top knee. You could be on the right fingertips. Anything at all that feels right. Some people really benefit from being still. Others prefer to make circles with the knee in any and all directions. It's your body, start tapping into it. When in doubt, stillness is good. If your leg is up, please straighten it, inhale. Return, exhale, square the hips, bring the legs down. Second side, please stay as you are or lift the left leg back. Imagine I hold your foot and pull you back a little bit so you're stronger on the standing leg. Stay or stack the hips, stay or bend the top leg. Some people rise to the left fingertips, tuck the tail. Feel free to stay present and still. Feel free to be present and moving. Any variation. Some people like doing circles with the knee, lubricate the hip joint. <clears throat> you can hear your breath. It's not forced, it's steady. Eventually, we return towards center. Inhale, square the hips. Exhale, bring the foot down. Please bend both knees, eyes are forward. Inhale, walk or jump. 
we're at the top of the mat. Exhale, fold the body down, look at your legs. Stand up, inhale, reach the arms overhead, look at your thumbs. Exhale, rest the arms. Number three out of three, lift the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, fold it down, look at your legs. Inhale, usher the heart forward, weight in the hands. Exhale, bring the legs back, bend the elbows, keep your heart aware. Inhale, slide onto the tops of the feet, widen the collarbones, look up. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing. Good. <clears throat> so right then we did three-legged dog, so that was hips. Let's start getting into the base of the heart and the shoulders, yeah? Please meet me on all fours and thread the needle. Keep the right hand down. Inhale, widen the left arm to the ceiling. Exhale, rest the elbow down. Option one, this is it. Option two, slide the tricep through. Rest your temple on the earth. Bring the right hand to the um, fingertips. Inhale, lift the chest and widen. Lengthen the left arm further from you. Option one, this is it. Bring the hips back. <laughs> Option two, this is tricky. Bring the right leg towards the hand. It could be in front of your belly button. It could be in front of your nose. Regardless, keep the hips back. So there's less and less weight on the neck. The top arm, let's call it your right arm, can do whatever you want. Some people side overhead. Other people side upper. To your body, again, a lot of working with hips and heart is just tapping into what it is that you need. And you'll know because you'll exhale a little bit longer there, which means the body is settled there. If your arm went up, please return it to the floor. Exhale, touch the earth. Inhale, return where you came from. Rise up, some people like to flow and lift the left arm higher, re retrace your steps. Exhale, good. Other side. Inhale, right arm is up. Exhale, thread it through. Please keep your forearm parallel to the earth or slide it through. Rest the top of the shoulder and the right temple on the earth. Widen your buttocks back towards the heels. Option one, this is it. Option two, the left leg, straighten it to the side. The toes could be in line with your belly. Maybe they touch your hands. It's whatever works for you. Left arm can stay or it reaches up. Keep it or purposefully bring the hand so far back over your hips that your hips go further back. There's less weight on the head. Do whatever you want with the top arm. Notice the right shoulder, right rib cage, the back of it. Breathe there, inhale. It's as though just inviting breath into the back plane of the body will clear up any density, any residue that has built up there. Last full breath, free up your jaw. Good. If the arm is behind you, please rise. Inhale. Touch the floor. Exhale. Return. Retrace your steps. Press the hand down. Inhale. You can wave the arm up if that's in your nature to do that. Exhale. Touch the earth. Downward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Inhale. Here. Exhale. Prepare. Bend the knees. Eyes are forward. Inhale. Walk, step, jump. We're at the top of the mat. Exhale, fold the body down, look at your legs. Stand up tall, inhale, genuinely stretch the arms overhead, notice what you're doing. Exhale, soften. Let's switch it up, yeah? Um, this one is curvilinear. Inhale, reach the arms up and back. Exhale, forward and down. Right knee back, inhale, knee to the earth, eyes to the floor, all fours. Exhale, rest the knees on the mat, Bend the elbows, bring the chest and chin to the ground, inchworm. Inhale, slide the body forward, lift the heart up, look up. Exhale, downward facing. Right foot, inhale, step it forward, back knee down. Eyes forward, everything forward. Exhale, stand at the top of the mat and fold. Inhale, we stand, arms overhead, maybe you arch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Same thing, left side. Inhale, we open up. Exhale, ground it down. Left knee back. Inhale, lunge, eyes forward to the floor. 
Everything back, exhale, inchworm. Knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, slide it forward. Exhale, bring it back. Left foot forward. Inhale, lunge. Look at the wood floor or the floor in front of you. Everything forward. Exhale, stand and fold. Please stand up. Inhale, arms overhead, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right, again, right side. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we close, touch floor. Right knee back, inhale. Exhale, lunge, press the back toes down. Bring the hands to the thigh, we'll hold it. See if you can tuck your tailbone so the low back is supple. I'll shift my orientation. So instead of sagging down, you are rising back. Good, stay here. Tuck the tail, lift the chest, inhale, chest, uh, shoulders over hips. We are here for five breaths. Don't count them, you just know the rhythm. Some of us interlace the fingers, palms are forward. Good. Others who are more intense may bring the hands to the thigh, tuck the chin and flex the spine. So the chin is tucked, the tail is tucked. The right hip flexor is stretching. Slowly back off. Touch the floor, lizard. Both hands inside of the foot. Please widen the left foot to the left, right knee back. Feel free to stay tall or walk the hands forward. Feel free to bring the elbows down. If you feel an imbalance and are falling to the right or the left side, widen your hands or widen your stance and tuck the tail belly in. So this pose is called lizard. It's as though you're a lizard and you're looking forward right? And there's a little insect about 18 inches ahead of you. Inhale. It's as you're full in the back body. Fill up the back plane of the body. You're not falling down. You're lengthening forward as we exhale. Keep your gaze. Good. Last full breath. I think I'm going to turn the music off. Okay. Option one, please stay centered exactly where you are. Option two, widen the left foot off of the mat, toes at a diagonal, knee at a diagonal. Come to the razor, pinky toe side of the foot, left hand to the thigh. Inhale, scoop the tail so the belly lifts up, and then exhale, usher the heart back, press the hand into the thigh, thigh into the hand. Breathe. Sometimes if one closes the eyes, one can adjust the neck or move as you need. Good. Last five breaths. Some of us stay, others bend the back leg. Feel free to reach for the foot. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, press the foot away from you. Stretch from the center of the heart to the left shoulder, to the collarbone, the entire front body stretch. Last full breath. Touch earth. Exhale, touch down. Return it back. Inhale, meet me in a plank. Exhale, stay here. Press widen the shoulders down from the base of the heart to the center of the palms, press down. And from the center of the palms to the back of the heart, lift up. And slowly, knees down, chest and chin to the ground. Rest. Arms are to a T. Please bring your left hand under your left shoulder. Look left. Bend the left knee. Please stay. Eventually we'll roll over where the knee, where the foot goes behind us. Stay or press the left hand down. Inhale, lift the chest and shift. Do whatever you want with the left hand. If ever you want homework, I do this like still in bed when I'm pressing snooze. <laughs> so you could be lying down and just having a nice gentle pec stretch, yeah? Last full breath here. Good. Return to center. Belly down. Everyone look right. Bend the right knee. Right hand under right shoulder. Stay or slowly roll over. Invite yourself to adjust and accommodate. Rest your head down. Option one, stay as you are. Option two, any right arm you want. It can reach up. It can reach back. From the center of the heart to the collarbones, widen, inhale. Continue with the breath. 
If there's any gripping in the jaw, you can soften 1%. If the right arm is up, please return it to the mat. Exhale, hands down, belly down. Please bring your hands back underneath the shoulders and a little bit further back so the thumbs are in line with your lowest ribs. Hug the shoulders into their home, their sockets. Hug the elbows in. Option one, keep your forehead on the mat. You can have your feet apart or not. Press the pubic bone towards the earth, lengthen the chest. Option one, stay like this. Option two, inhale, bring the shoulders up, back and down. Stay, ears back. Option two, use your hands a little bit more. Press down, slide a little bit forward. Shoulders up, back, and down. Last one, stay or slide forward. Just roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Downward facing, exhale. Any version you need. For me, I come um, for the low back. It's really helpful sometimes to have the feet wider than you're used to because we're working, we just did a little bit of back bending, which could be intense or you know, stretching and opening up from the collarbones. So if you widen your stance, it can give you more stability. <clears throat> Please stay as you are, option one. <clears throat> option two, at any point you can be on the knees. You have three more breaths. I'm just gonna come over and hang out with you <laughs> and see what the vibe is. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're in down dog, um, see if you can press the mat away. So instead of falling down towards the wrists, you're rising up into the hips. <clears throat> Another way to say that, I'm gonna be very technical. Please bend your knees a lot, like 40%. Keep your knees bent and widen your seat up really, 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 really high. It'll lengthen your spine. Keep it and now start straightening the legs. Good. Second side. Inhale, please step your right foot forward. Exhale, back knee is down. Point the toes, rise up. All right, with this one, draw the right hip down. It tends to hike up. Keep the right hip down and keep the right obliques long. <clears throat> Tuck the tail a lot so the low back is neutral. Well, maybe not a lot. Root the tailbone. <laughs> Bring the ribs back. Option one, stay. Option two, interlace the fingers. Palms are forward. Lift the chest higher than the hands. Breath is steady. Face is calm. If you're more intense, you could bring the hands to the thigh, tuck the chin, and round a little bit more. Keep stretching the front of the left hip flexor. Good, back off, inhale, lizard, exhale, bend the front knee. Bring both hands inside of the foot. Option one, this is it. Option two, get a little bit longer. You can widen your hands forward, you can rest the elbows. And again, I'm gonna come over and just see um, what the orientation is. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, yeah, we got a few that look really comfortable in it, so I'll guide us through different variations. All right, if your shoulder is underneath your knee, you can keep that. If ever you wanted to work with a variation, the right shoulder could be behind the right calf. Arms could be to a T, maybe bound. And that's again to get it a little bit more specific into the chest as well. <clears throat> If you're centered with me, remember you're still like a lizard looking forward towards an insect that you're about to eat. And then lengthen the sides of the waist, lengthen the sides of the ribs, lengthen your neck. Option one, stay here. Option two, Kaliasana, widen your right foot off of the mat, toes and knee at a diagonal. Come to the razor side of the foot. Right hand to the thigh. Inhale, scoop the tail, belly is in. And exhale, widen back. As much as you're pressing your thigh away, the thigh presses right back into the hands, ricochet the head back. Good. Some of us stay here present. Others bend the back knee. You can hook or uh, hug your leg. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, press the foot away, pec stretch from the center of the heart to the right shoulder, widen. Good. 
back off as you need. Press down, return towards a comfortable lunge. Inhale, frame the leg. We're stepping forward. Exhale, stand at the top of the mat. Allow your feet, bend your knees and allow your feet to be at least two fist distance apart. It can be wider than that. <clears throat> Hold opposite elbows, tuck the chin, dangle. <sighs> Notice where the weight is in the feet. Can you shift a little bit towards the toes as well? Not instead of, as well. Option one, this is it. Option two, start straightening the legs as you wire, widen the thighs back, belly in. Inhale, lengthen through the rib cage, lengthen your, right, uh, your side body all the way to the armpits. Your elbows are heavy, the head is heavier. It's as though with your imagination or with your breath, you can lengthen your spine Inhale, invite space in between each vertebra. Good. We have five more breaths. Don't count them. You just know some of us may want to hug the calves. So instead of having the elbows in front of the shins, you can hold right behind your legs. Same, same, different. Keep awareness in the toes. Keep length in your neck. Belly is in. Good. So everything that happens to us, through us, for us, in front of us, behind our back, in our head, all of that is stored. It's imprinted in our body, in our psyche, in our nervous system. And this is the practice of consciously imprinting experiences of awareness, of integrity, and of uh, deep self-reverence. So invite yourself to adjust as you need at any time. Please back off a little bit, bend your knees, tuck the chin. We'll rise up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, rise, 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 rise. And exhale, shake it out. Let's do one more of those, but let's shift the hip orientations, but we'll do the same concept with a salutation. Inhale, lift the hands up and back. Exhale, forward and down. Right knee back, inhale, lunge. Press the toes on the tops of the feet onto the ground, hands to the thigh. Option one, this is, this is it. You could stay or tuck into double 90s, what we did earlier. Option two, bring the arms overhead. You could interlace your fingers all but the index. All right, press into the feet. Notice that the more you press into the front foot, you can lift your chest. The more you press into the back foot, the more you can support your back. Find your balance, keep it. And then from the base of the armpits, shoulders, lift up through the elbows and the wrists, genuinely stretch, stay, or open the chin up, bring the forearms parallel to the ground. Five breaths. At any point, you can change your hands. You can stay or return, inhale, arms can be out to a T, or you could interlace your fingers behind the back. Inhale, widen the heart space, stay, or exhale, extend. You can reach back with the hands, reach forward with the chest. Inhale, return to center. Frame your front leg, tuck the back toes. Exhale, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. You can lengthen the right leg. Some people uh, benefit from wagging their tail. Others benefit from being completely still. Find what works for you. And then eventually we can all be in stillness. You can tuck, root the tailbone down towards the earth. Lift the belly up, inhale. And exhale, bend the elbows. Lengthen the top of the head forward beyond the top of the mat so the neck is long. So it's a practice of awareness and every cue I'm giving is just a portal to tap into deeper levels of awareness. It's as though our whole body is a circuit and gradually we're turning on different circuits. Some of them flicker a little bit. <laughs> Option one, please stay here, five more breaths. Option two, rise it up, <clears throat> cross, bring the front foot towards the right long edge of the mat. Okay, so now we're doing IT. Please stay, I'm just gonna give you a different angle. <clears throat> Do you notice how the left hip and the, or the thigh and the belly want to join? Um, 
don't do that. <laughs> or if it's fine, nothing bad will happen. But if you're going to um, shift, please bring your left hand to your left thigh, the hip crease, and press that down, manual adjustment. Inhale, lift the chest. Stay or readjust your hands. Yeah, so over here, I'm in Washington, D.C. We're on week 22 of lockdown. So it's a really good time to learn how to manually adjust yourself. <laughs> okay. Last full breath. Good. Inhale, we rise. Return to center. If your leg moved, return it to the left side of the body. And exhale, lunge. Plant the palms. Please meet me on all fours. Step it back. Cat cow, but not really. Exhale, let your chest soften. Let your hips rise. Let your chin rise. Can we do it one vertebrae at a time? Tail moves first. Slowly start tucking the tail. Belly is in. Round the spine. Tuck the chin. Widen the upper body. Mm -hmm. Exhale here. Inhale, the tail moves up. Belly softens down. Heart opens. Shoulders widen. Chin rises. Two more on your own. The tail moves first. The head moves last. Let's call it a spinal wave. Good. And if ever you wanted homework, this could be another one. Just do like, put on your favorite song and do spinal waves for two to four minutes a day. It's really nice for spinal integrity, spinal health, quality of your life. Next time you're rounded, please stay rounded and become a very angry cat. Stay tall and slowly we're gonna bring the hands to the waist. Inhale, hands to the waist or technically the low back. Please press your hips forward so the buttocks, instead of being over the heels or the calf, are over the knees, yeah? Tuck in, belly in. Inhale, lengthen from your pubic bone to your belly button. Belly button to the heart heart to the shoulders, stay or lift the chin. Five breaths, don't count them. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, we sit it back. You can tuck the chin, excuse me, tuck the tail slightly, tuck the chin as well, yeah. Hug the knees, belly in, inhale. Exhale, round. Bring your awareness to the center plane of your body. Let's call it your spine. From your spine to your right shoulder, right ribs. Inhale, widen your breath there. Fill up the back plane of the body. Keep it as we exhale. From the spine to the left shoulder, left ribs. Inhale, widen your left wing. Exhale. Your wings are much bigger than your rib cage. Inhale, widen throughout the whole back plane of the body, including your neck, including your kidneys. Good. This is available to you at any time. Slowly back off. Good. Return to all fours, downward facing. Exhale. Good. Any version of down dog or knees down, option one. Option two, bring the feet a little bit closer to each other, lift the heels up and shift them to the right. Exhale, allow the feet to be weight bearing. You could be on the left fingertips. Widen the thighs back away from the hands and then lengthen and lift through your left armpit, left rib cage. Breathe there into the left side waist. Let's call this left side body long. Keep it, return to center, palm down, inhale. Exhale, heels to the other side. We're on the right fingertips. Inhale, widen your right shoulder up, air out your right armpit as we lengthen through the right rib cage, belly and waist. Keep the thighs away from the hands. Breath is steady, right side body is long. Inhale, return towards center. Good. Three breaths here, any micro or mega adjustments that you need, go ahead and do them. If ever you need to breathe out of your mouth, that is a really nice way for the parasympathetic nervous system, the calming part of us to, um, to say hi, <laughs> okay? Um, slowly, please lift the right leg up, inhale. Step it forward, exhale, lunge. Back knee down, top of the foot down. Hands on the thigh, inhale. Option one. 
You can always be here or return here. Keep the tail rooted a little bit. Lift the chest. Option two, arms overhead. You could interlace your fingers or maybe this time we hug opposite elbows. It's up to you. Okay. <clears throat> Notice you can bend the front knee, step on the right foot more, lift the front chest more. Keep that awareness as we exhale. Press the left foot down more, uh, support the back of the heart more. Good, stay connected. Can you please on purpose lift your left elbow higher? Do you notice that space? Exhale, keep it. Can you lift your right elbow higher? Inhale, nice. Exhale, feel free to bring the elbows further back. Five breaths, any version. Keep it if it's in your practice or it feels right. For those of us who want a variation, you could bring the hands towards the earth or interlace them behind the back. It, by the way, it could be at the waist. Anything back, whatever hands back works for you is fine. Five breaths. Inhale, lift the chin at least parallel to the floor. Bring the ears back. From there, you do what you need. Center. Frame the front leg, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, straighten the right leg, widen the buttocks back. Some people need or want to uh, wag their tail a little bit in any direction is fine. <clears throat> Some people need or want to be still. Eventually, we root the tailbone, meaning the tailbone is looking for the floor. It's not looking forward, it's just looking for the floor, but keep widening your buttocks. So they're two different <laughs> movements. Belly in, inhale. And exhale, lengthen your torso, lengthen your spine, lengthen your breath. The top of your hairline is reaching towards the top of the mat, not the floor. Keep your back long. Remember the circumferential breath, the breath throughout the whole body. You're a multidimensional being. Breathe into all aspects. Some of us stay centered here. Others lift up a little bit, inhale. Cross the foot to the left long edge of the mat. Please keep it. I'm just gonna shift orientation for our teaching's sake. Some of us will stay. Some of us will manually adjust. If you choose to manually adjust, the right thumb goes into the hip crease and invites the right thigh down as you lift the left chest up. You can keep your hand there or maybe you choose to touch the floor. As we press the right foot down, widen the buttocks back. Lengthen the whole left side, waist, left rib cage. Good. And slowly we back off a little bit. Inhale, and back off a lot. Exhale, make a footprint. <clears throat> Meet me on all fours. Slowly step it back. Cat cow, but not really. Remember, it was a spinal wave. Find um, cow with the hips and chin up. Inhale. Slowly start tucking the tail, belly in, round the spine, tuck the chin. Option one, this is it. Keep going. Tail, belly. Option two, same thing, but now we add the shoulders. So let's just pause and separate the movements. So from all fours, notice that the shoulders can come back. That's called retraction. And the shoulders can widen forward and down. That's called protraction. Can you hug something behind you? Retraction. Can you hug a big tree in front of you? Protraction. And do that three to five times. Don't count them. Just notice the capacity in your body to move in this way. <clears throat> and it's also just lubricating the shoulders. Please find neutral. Pause. Option. Slowly, let's um, bring the, let's start undulating. Bring the tail up, belly down, heart down. Bring the shoulders back. Retraction. Chin up. Keep the shoulders, tuck the chin, tuck the tail, belly in, round the spine, protract the shoulders, tuck the chin. Keep your chin, widen the tail back, soften the belly, bring the shoulders back, heart down. You have two more on your own. When in doubt, just move a little bit with your breath. You can't do it wrong. You would just be doing it differently. Good. And next time we're rounded, please stay rounded in an angry cat position. 
hands to the waist, inhale. Good. All right, same, same, different. <clears throat> option one, you can do the exact same thing. Option two, I'm going to demo so you can watch for a second. We can bring the hands to the thigh and we're not just touching our pants, we're actually holding the thigh. So what I see us do at times is this, um, where the shoulder is falling forward. So <clears throat> instead of doing that, can we bring the right hand to the right thigh, left hand to the left thigh, flirt the right shoulder back, hook the left shoulder back, whichever makes sense, and then usher the heart forward, lift the chin, five breaths. And I'm gonna come over and hang out with you and see if I can be of help. <clears throat> okay, inhale, lift the chest. Uh-huh, uh-huh, so Rebecca, see if you can press into the thighs and lift the front of the heart up, widen the collarbones, bring the ears back. This looks good, Kimberly. Mm-hmm, oh, hi, Ariel, good to see you. <laughs> Welcome. And then slowly we back off a little bit and we back off a lot. Let me orient with time. Okay, I think that's enough um, seated standing, excuse me, standing-ish poses. Let's go towards the floor, yeah? From, um, well, you guys were just in the camel. Please meet me seated on your heels. Option one, <clears throat> we can do the exact same thing that we did before. Remember where you root the tail, belly in, and round the spine. If that feels appropriate for you, do it. If you prefer child's pose, do that. We have eight breaths to calibrate. Do what works for you. And continue tapping into the feeling body. So if anything feels slightly off, see if you can um, lengthen or at least acknowledge it, right? <clears throat> and adjust accordingly. So we start imprinting experiences where we can align or experiences where we listen to our bodies and we can respond in ways that are useful. Yeah. Slowly, let's back off and meet me seated. Legs are forward. Let's start with the left leg. I will face you just because I like facing you. But um, <laughs> when I say left leg, I mean left leg. Please bend your left knee out and the heel is up. Frame your leg, please. Belly in. Inhale. Stay or exhale. Fold over the leg. Forehead can be parallel to the earth. Belly in. Inhale. Widen the back plane of the body. Stay buoyant. And exhale. Fold. Any variation. Some people like to fold very deeply. Others like to stay tall. It's your practice. Good. And this is where we will shift a little bit. All right, please keep your right hand on your right leg somewhere. Maybe it's your calf, maybe it's your ankle, maybe it's your arch. Left hand, left waist. Inhale, lift the chest up off of the thigh, open. Stay or look over the left shoulder. Option one, stay. Option two, left hand can go behind your low back. Maybe you notice you have a hip crease there. Belly in, inhale, widen the heart space. <clears throat> Keep the ribs in line. Just breathe into them, belly in, inhale. Exhale, collarbones are soft, elegant. Breath is steady. If any of us are holding the foot, you can look towards the camera for a second and notice that if you point the foot, the upper body goes with it. Can you flex the foot? Now, can you do that without moving the upper body? Point the foot and now bring the right rib cage up, left shoulder back. So it's just creating space. Good. Please keep the heart elevated. Press the right hand on the floor. It's your kickstand or your clutch. Move it in a way that's useful and then plant it. Left arm to the ceiling. Inhale, lift. Not just the hand, embody it. So lift through the rib cage as well. Stay or side stretch. You have a bottom arm to help you. The top elbow can bend. Inhale, support your head with your hand, press back. Exhale, the hand supports right back into the head, lift the elbow. Any variation of a seated side stretch that works for you. Belly in. Notice the left buttocks is down and you can lengthen the left side waist. Breathe life into the left side lungs. This is Zion sleeping next to my foot. 
And anytime he's sleeping, I'm like, I creep up on him. <laughs> I just like watch him breathe. And anytime he's breathing, I can see exactly breath moving in his body in particular spaces. Do that. Breathe into the body in such a way that it fills it up and it moves. Rise up. Inhale. Please bring your left hand down and slide it away from you at least an iPhone and a half. Okay, so about 10 inches. Um, the left shoulder plugs into the socket. Right arm is up. Option one, stay here, open. Option two, lift the hips up, open the chest, stretch the front of the hips, stretch the belly, open the heart. Often I close my eyes. It doesn't have to be you, but if the, arm, if the top arm wants to move, feel free to move it in any way that makes sense for you. The legs are strong. The tail is underneath you rather than falling down towards the ground. It's scooped a little bit. Breathe easy. Please return the seat down. Exhale, lower. Notice the left diagonal of your mat. Frame, uh, bring the fingertips to the left diagonal. Inhale. Option one, this is it. Option two, feel free to walk it more forward or bring the elbows down. The right buttocks might try to help you and lift. Please widen it down. Belly in. Inhale, lift through the sides of the waist, sides of the armpits. Exhale, soften the shoulders, lengthen your neck. Forehead is parallel to the earth. Good. And just breathe. Remember to allow the breath to move into the rib cage, to move and fill up the back of your shirt, the back of your top. <laughs> and if you have a big top like I do, then you would breathe the whole thing. Okay. Inhale, rise up, break the pose. Exhale, hug your knees in. Make sure there's room behind you. Our movements will go backwards now, okay? Please hug the knees in, inhale. Rock onto your back, exhale. Keep the knees in, one. Exhale, make footprint, two. Bridge. Bring the hands by your thighs, widen the shoulders behind you. Neutralize your low back. Press the feet down. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, bring them down. It's just a movement. We're not doing the pose. Hug the knees in. Inhale. Other side. Exhale, meet me seated. Legs are straight. And again, I'll face you and I'll be your mirror. Please bend the right knee. Janu Shashasana. Bring the right knee out. Hug the heel in. Frame the leg. Exhale, stare. Bend the elbows. I like to fold inside of the thigh rather than on top of the shin. So just give yourself space, belly in. <clears throat> Imagine your teacher comes over and hugs the sides of your ribs or someone who cares for you, that's safe, um, holds the outside of your ribs and inhale, breathe into the hands and exhale, usher it forward. Good, neck is long. At any point, you can return to this or stay here. If you choose to do the side ones that we did, Parsva, please do it. Inhale, we rise up. The left hand can hold on to your calf, your ankle, or the arch of the foot. Okay. The right hand can come to your right waist. Inhale, lift the chest up off of the thigh. Option one, this is good. Option two, look to the right shoulder. The bottom, the right hand can move or it can stay. Some people hook. Belly in. Inhale, wherever you are, find the center of your heart and exhale, soften the skin. Inhale from the heart to the collarbones, widen. Good. Those of us who have our foot and you want to do it, notice if you point the toes, the upper body wants to go with it. Don't do that. Point the toe and then lift the left rib cage up. Widen the shoulder back. Good. Some of us stay in Parsva Janu Shasana, side Janu. Others may want the side stretch, remember? The left hand touches the floor as close or far from you as you want. The right arm goes towards the ceiling. Take the rib cage with you. Inhale, genuinely stretch. So instead of just having the right arm, the whole right body comes up. Stay or stretch over the extended leg. I like bending the top elbow and supporting the skull. Inhale, press the skull into the hand. Exhale, the hand presses right back into the skull. Lift the elbow. As we press the right buttocks down, inhale, widen through the right rib cage. 
breath clears up any congestion, whether in your imagination or in your physiology. Eventually both. Okay. You can stay longer if you choose. If you wanted to do that variation of wild thing, come on up, inhale. Exhale, right hand is down near your right glute and then slide it a very big iPhone away from you. Right shoulder in its socket. So make sure the right shoulder is plugged in. Left arm is up. Option one, stay here. Option two, lift through and open the front of the hip. Stretch, breath is steady. Relax the jaw, any top arm that makes sense for you. Good. The legs have a lot of weight. The front of the left hip stretches, lengthen, open. Good. Exhale, return to your seat. Look at the top right diagonal of the mat. You can shimmy and widen your sit, seat. All right, fingertips forward to the right, inhale. Stay as we are or exhale. Some like to walk it further or bring the elbows down. Just make sure you're not rounding the spine. It's not bad, it's a natural position. See if you can lengthen and lift, good. So the whole body is upright. <clears throat> so I'm doing this somatic transformation course um, and we work with the body and um, every sentient being has uh, four principles. The first one is length. Every sentient being has length. Can you tap into that, right? <clears throat> Every sentient being has width. Can you widen? Mm -hmm. Notice the difference in quality. Every single being also has breath. B-R-E-A-D-T-H, breath. <laughs> Can you breathe into the front and back planes of your body as well, right? So fill up all of yourself and slowly back off. I didn't forget the fourth. Slowly hug in, inhale, hug the knees in. Remember there's room behind you. Our vinyasa goes back, hug in, inhale, rock back, exhale. We'll be here too. <clears throat> Some people like to keep their knees together. Others separate their knees. Two breaths. Bridge pose. Please press the feet down, hands by your thighs. Widen the shoulders back. Neutralize the low back. <clears throat> so we have a tailbone in the back and we have a pubic bone in the front. The tailbone is looking for the pubic bone. The pubic bone is looking for the tailbone. Neutral. <laughs> Press down. Inhale, lift the hips up. Two breaths. Press into the heels. Engage the back plane of your body. The glutes, the hamstrings. Imagine there's a block in between your thighs and you're hugging it in and pressing it up. Good. And slowly we come on down a little bit and a lot. Hug the knees in. Inhale. Meet me seated. Exhale. <clears throat> I'm going to face you because I like facing you, but you can stay as you are. Please bring the feet to touch. Um, butterfly. We're going to do three versions of it. Um, well, I guess I'll give you a side view. The first one, let's call it diamond. It's quite long. Don't do it yet. But if you were to fold, your head is inside of the heels. Okay, if you feel any uh, pain or discomfort in the knees, you can shorten the stance, yeah? Or have something underneath the knees. Hold on to the shins, inhale, lift the chest. Stay here, option one or option two, slide your hands to the ankles and fold. Belly is in. Imagine someone who cares for you presses the right thigh down slightly, or actually you can do it for yourself. The right hand can press into the right thigh, the thigh presses back into the hand. The left hand presses into the left thigh. The thigh presses right back into the hand. Belly in and exhale, lengthen the torso. Gradually, the thigh can press less and less. <clears throat> if ever you prefer, the hands can touch behind you. They can touch the floor. Lengthen. Inhale, fill up the back of your shirt with air. Exhale. Good. Oh, the fourth guiding principle. So we have length, we have width, we have breadth. The fourth is um, some form of, I mean, from a physics perspective, it would be gravity. Like every, every sentient being is affected by gravity. 
um, <clears throat> when we go further into it philosophically, it's a guiding principle. Slowly rise up. Option one, you can stay there forever. Option two, let's shorten it. Please keep your feet, hands by the thighs. Lift and shift, fold. Again, you can hold the shins or the feet, whatever works for you. Belly in, inhale. And exhale, fold. You can press the right elbow on the thigh, left elbow on the thigh. Belly in. Inhale, widen the breath right underneath the armpits. So you have to, yeah, and exhale. Mm -hmm. And so if we work with that, it's like, what's your guiding principle that leads you that um, like purpose or um, intention? And if we start tapping into that, um, then we can start finding an alignment that's appropriate for us, whether we're talking physical alignment or we're talking even more internal. <clears throat> Some of us may choose to stay in this pose and this length because it feels right for us. Others may choose to shift. If that's you, lift, last shift. Press the hands by the thighs, lift and shift. Exhale, fold over the legs. <clears throat> if you were to fold this time, the feet would be underneath your belly button. It's whatever works for you. I'm just offering different orientations. <clears throat> so it's kind of like if all of us went to the same trail the same mountain and we started together and I'm like you could go down that blue trail that green trail that whatever it doesn't even have to have colors you get what I mean <clears throat> good wherever you are notice where breath is readily accessible for you acknowledge that and see if in that space where there's breath available you can just widen it like 0.5 percent good Please back off a little bit. Inhale. Please back off a lot. Exhale. Hug the knees in. We're about to go back and stay on our back. So make sure there's room behind you and there's room around you. Hug the knees in. Inhale. Exhale. Roll it back. Three breaths. Some people like to be still and keep the knees in. Others like to widen the knees. Maybe you want happy baby where you flex the feet towards the ceiling. Hold the outside edge of the feet. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, the thighs lower down, the low back is on the mat. Keep it, press the heels up. We learn to work with opposition, right? They complement each other, create integrity. Good. Some people are still, some people are rocking. It's all good. So gradually we allow ourselves, we give ourselves permission to adjust as we need. Please back off of whatever version you're doing. Inhale, set up for bridge. Exhale, make a footprint on the earth, hands by the feet or thighs. Widen your shoulders behind you. Keep the collarbones open, wide. This one's three breaths. Please press the feet down, press the hands down, shoulders down, lift everything else up. Inhale, lift from the tail, lift the back plane of the body. Mm -hmm. Remember that block that's in between your thighs, press it up. Without moving your head, just your eyes, look towards your hips. If you can see your knees, lift the hips a little bit more without pain. Some people interlace their fingers behind the back. If that's you, go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, please keep your heels down. Don't move them, but imagine you're gonna drag them back towards you. Engage the hamstrings, yes, activate. And slowly we exhale. If the fingers are interlaced, release them and back off. Rest. You can let the knees tuck in. The feet are wide. Some of us stay. Others may adjust. One hand to the upper thigh, hip crease. Other hand, same. Left hand, left hip crease. Right hand, right hip crease. Inhale here. Stay or exhale. Press into the upper thighs. Let the belly come back. Good. Let's do one more hip thing. And I believe we're at the top of the hour. And I want to, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Please cross your right foot over your left thigh, figure four. Can you stay here and just bring the knee in more and out more? See if you can maintain the thigh further away from you. Option one, stay here. Option two, hug everything in. Thread the right arm through. You can interlace your fingers over the left shin. Inhale. 
Exhale, hug it in. Right elbow can press into the right thigh. Right thigh presses right back into the elbow. Some of us stay here. You could be still, you could do circles with your ankles. Others may choose to shift the hands and um, you could interlace underneath the left thigh, straighten the top leg. By the way, it doesn't have to be bent at 90 or straight at 180. There's 90 degrees throughout all of that. So feel free to play with different orientations. <clears throat> Don't count, but we have five breaths here. If ever you wanted more, that's fine. Always know there is choice. Always know you can choose in any direction <clears throat> that feels right. And if you find something that feels right, stay as long as it's useful for you. Okay. If you're with me, I'm just pacing the class. We can bend the top leg if it's straight. We can let go of um, the grip and slowly return the figure four to the earth. Uncross your legs. Other side. Inhale, left leg, figure four. Please stay as you are. Notice the thigh. Can you bring the left thigh closer towards you and further from you? Kind of like flapping a half a wing, a butterfly, right? Next time the thigh is away from you, keep it there and hug the legs in. Thread your left arm through the legs. Interlace the fingers over the shin. Inhale. Exhale, hug in a lot. Press the left elbow into the thigh, thigh into the elbow. Notice what it's like to have the feet flexed. Notice what it's like to have them pointed. Find somewhere that works for you. I was taught and conditioned to flex, so that's what I do. <laughs> Some of us choose to shift the hands and hold onto the thighs or the calf or anywhere else really. And as much as you're hugging the leg in, the leg is resisting and pressing into the thigh. So create traction and make sure um, that you are, are actively engaged in the process. Some people do circles with their ankles in any direction. Any movements are fine. Good. If the leg is straight, please bend it. If your fingers are interlaced, please relax and return your figure four to the earth. Rest the feet, uncross your legs. Hug the knees in. Inhale, both knees are in. <clears throat> you have eight more breaths, keep hugging in. Some people will stay, others widen, others happy baby or butterfly. Anything at all on your back that soothes you, go. I'm just going to adjust and turn the timer on so we can rest. Good. When in doubt, you can be still. Gradually, we start inviting our body to rest, <clears throat> knowing you have done enough and eventually you move beyond doing and you allow yourself to be. Once you're lying on your back, allow your legs to settle. They can be a little bit wider than you're used to. The feet can splay out. Notice any sensation in the feet, in the ankles. Rest. Notice any sensation in the feet, ankles, calves, thighs, entire leg. Exhale, rest. Inhale, fill up your belly. Exhale, relax pelvic floor and any gripping in the pelvis and the hips and the belly and low back. Inhale, belly and heart fill up, widen the shoulders behind you. Exhale, soften your shoulders, your biceps, forearms, palms of hands are open. Inhale, belly, heart and throat fill up. Exhale, relax your jaw, your eyes and center of the brain. 
it's as though you had an off button and you go ahead and push, you press off, take rest. Slowly start bringing uh, yourself back into the body. Long body stretch, stretch the arms overhead, inhale, point the toes, get full. Remain full as we exhale, bend the knees. Fullness is a state of being. Slowly rest on your side. Any side is a good side. Any moment is a good moment. Press the hands down. Inhale, meet me seated. Rise on up. Exhale. Cross your legs in a way that's comfortable. Palms touch. Notice how you feel. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, invite your head over your heart, over your belly button, over the pelvis. Notice how you feel now versus 20 minutes ago, three days ago, 23 weeks ago. Everything is constantly changing. So it's not a question of whether we're capable of changing or whether things will change. It's more about how active will we be while the change is taking place. Right, so gradually as we practice, we become more active participants in the process, in community, with alignment, with support. Thank you so much for being here and practicing. Namaste. Happy day. I'm so happy a lot of, uh, all of you showed up. Um, thank you. Normally at this point, I would um, allow people to unmute themselves. I'm not a 